At the turn of every day, he is set at the door with thousands of thoughts. His life is not a bed of roses. This is a story about a day in a tapas life, who are the backbone of Sri Lankan economy, who are unappreciated and marginalized. Their life is not easy. They spend a very real life style with no basic amenities. They are very proud for their ideas. Their life is also same as this road. There are many barriers and obstacles. The second life started at 6 a.m. The coolness of early morning air encouraged the ladies to go. It gave the collecting cup a quick clean. And he used a special knife to shear off a thin layer of rubber tree stock. Care must be taken not to cut too deep as this would injure the tree. Like this, he tap his block very efficiently. Never a moment is wasted or delayed. The ladies start to slow down on the wheel cut to the center vertical cut that painted with a metal guard which drain the ladies into a collection cup. Each and every drop is very worthy as a pearl for these tapers. Their world peace is ladies drops. When I was a kid, I used to follow my father to the rubber state. At first, I helped him to collect the latex he tapped. And later on, he taught me how to tap the trees. I tap a lot faster when I was younger. Now I can tap 250 plants per day. And normally I work 7 hours per day. This job is not easy. I have to sacrifice a lot. But I only earn 450 rupees per day. It is just only enough to fulfill our basic requirements. Each year, the tree will return to the trees to collect the latex before some burned everything up and stopped the tap for form. They empty the cup to a little large thin. No latex is made wasted. He has to go for each and every 250 plants before eating. He carries all ladies on his bare shoulders and hands. 
at evening of the day itself, they do making of rubber sheets. Collected lettuce is poured into a rectangular mold after sieving. After that, formic acid is added to coagulate latex liquid. It transforms liquid latex into a full solid block of rubber. Then this is stirred well and the form is removed. block of rubber is put on the ground. We initially throw it by hand so that it becomes thick enough for it to be rolled by the tangle machine. Then it is taken to the mango machine. This is the only piece of machine required to make rubber sheets. Rubber sheet is manually rolled using the mango several times to make it more thinner by squeezing the water out. Then it may be easier for the sheet to dry. Drying of rubber latex take place in a smoke house made by themselves. Dried rubber sheets are golden brown in color. These rubber sheets are stopped up waiting to be sold by a middleman. Rubber tapping is an art. It requires patience and concentration. With rubber tappers shears the bark too deeply, the tree would be damaged. Sheared too lightly, the latex would not be close out of the tree. There have to be a balance of everything, too much or too little of something. The rubber industry has laid the foundation of Sri Lankan's prosperity. Thus, we should treasure it for being part of our national heritage. Thank you.